Welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts, Beginner Gardener Chronicles with Tracy. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? This is another adventure here. Um, gardening uh, for beginners. I am prepare, preparing ahead of time. I want to prepare some um, seedling containers. So I planted seeds last couple days ago. Uh, peppers and onions and leeks, and I used these toilet paper rolls. So I had more toilet paper rolls left, and I wanted to um, just start some seedling containers so that they'll be ready when I'm ready to put seeds in, and I may put seeds in them today. I've been told that um, I'm planning too early for our zone, but I'm anxious, and I'm hard-headed, and I want to plant some seeds in the house. They may grow big, you know, they may get out of control. I don't know, but I'm going to keep going while I have the time. So I use, um, you know, I reuse, repurpose. And this is a styrofoam container that had meatballs in it. And I washed them out, saved them. So that's what I did with this one. I uh, put these eight in here, and I've already filled them with the cocoa coir and um, perlite mixture. So they're ready for seeds. And so I have another one that has eight, eight cells in it. And I'm just going to cut, I don't have many toilet paper rolls left. So I'm cutting these in half. And then I just put a little slit, just a tiny slit in the four corners. So fold it in half, put just a tiny slit. And that's only so that I can um, form the bottom of these into this container. And if I dip it in water and get that cardboard wet, then it'll shape to the contour of this um, styrofoam container. Just a little clip in each little corner. Dip it in the water and push it down in the container. These are, of course, shorter and won't hold as much um, cocoa core, but it should be enough to start seedlings, I would think. Just trying some um, economical crafty ways to start these seedlings. I'm not trying to go out and buy all this extra stuff. I'm going to use what I have and make it work. Make it do what it do. So they fit snugly in there when you dip them in that water to um, contour the bottom of the container. Okay, so now I'll just uh, put my growing mixture 
you don't call this soil, right? <laughs> My cocoa coir with the perlite in it. And I'll just fill these up. Messy. I'm just going to use my hands. Uh oh. Of course, I'm making a mess. But that's what happens when you play in the dirt, right? In the soil, in the cocoa coir. And I think this would be pretty good for the seedlings because once they get established, and uh, germinate, then the um, roots can grow right out of the bottom and then just be transplanted. So what do you think? What do you think? I'm experimenting. I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I'm researching. I'm trying to figure it out. OK. This one is ready for whatever I want to put seeds in it. Set that aside. Now the th next thing I wanted to do, um, my previous business was a bakery. And of course I have lots of things left and that I'm going to repurpose. I think that these little candy containers would be great starters. What do you think? Rather than waste them, I'm just going to fill them with cocoa coir. coir. And then this way, um, when I put these seeds in here, they'll have a dome for the, um, what do you call that effect? You know what I'm saying. For the, yeah, that part. I can't think. I can't think. Greenhouse effect. Is that what I'm trying to say? It'll form the moisture on the dome of this container. And I have two of these that I also thought about as a possibility. I have. Um, Cupcake containers, plastic cupcake containers. I have them in six and then I have them in 12. So I may be using those as well. I don't know. Depends on how many seeds I'm gonna get going on here. Okay, that, that should that should be good. Because whatever I put in here, I'm gonna have to stick down in here or cover with a little more cocoa coir. How do you, how do you say that? Cocoa coir, cocoa core, that stuff. So there's that one, and I have one more. And I might be putting more peppers, different types of peppers in these because I think I left that grow light on too long or too close and they're wilting. All my little starters are wilting and I hope that they don't die. I hope that they don't die, but um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to start some more. I'm telling you, this is trial and error, trial and error. So there's that one. And I started the peppers early because I'm told that they take so long to germinate and to grow. Peppers take forever. So let me show you. I'm, I'm, I was a little sad this morning when I came downstairs and looked at these. I left the light on all night long. I'm going to have to get a timer. 
They look so bad. Oh my gosh. You know, geez, they're all they're green, but you know, they're delicate. I'm gonna keep watering them and see what happens, but I think I'm gonna plant some more serrano chili, cayenne, yellow pepper, and poblano. I really think so. Okay. So is that all I'm gonna do for now? Yes, yeah, so I have these containers ready. Um, I just wanna show you a few more things that I'm doing. I have this garlic I'm going to plant. And I'm gonna separate it, it's already starting to grow. And I'm gonna take the, uh, what is this stuff called? Shell, no, this stuff off. I'm gonna take it off and do I start them in water? Do I just put them in the soil? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna figure it out. And then I have a mango seed. And I've covered it with a damp paper towel. I had it in a plastic bag and just have it in a, a, a cool area, cool dry area. Oh, and it's molding. So what I'm going to do, I saw a video. Let me wipe that off. I saw a video. Yeah, it's got mold. I think I might have had too much water. But this is the shell, the seed. I saw a video where you cut just a little bit of this part off the top of this seed. And then you get some pliers and you can get in here and you can pry this open and actually get to the seed and then go from there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Not right now. That's too wet. I'm not going to put it back in the top. I'm just going to put it back in here for now. And then I also saw a video. Let me clean this dirt up. I also saw a video um, of how to dry out some strawberry seeds. So I, my granddaughter, Demi and I did some strawberries uh, dehydrated last week. And so we just sliced off, I just sliced off really thin parts of the strawberry and put them on a paper towel and let them dry. So once these dry, I've got the seeds here and I'm going to plant them and we're going to see what happens. It's worth a try, worth a try. And then these here are lemon seeds. So I put them on the paper towel, dampen the paper towel and put them in this plastic bag. We're going to wait for those to sprout and um, plant those too. Not that I'll be getting lemons, but I love the beautiful plants. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting excited because it's up and coming soon, I hope soon, for uh, spring planting. So thank you. That is all for this one. I'm going to figure out if I'm going to plant some more seeds in these now or wait a little bit, but I, um, I'm a little anxious. More than likely, I'm going to put some pepper seeds in most of these. We shall see. And maybe, I don't know. i got to figure out what I'm going to do with the garlic. But peace and love. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Happy growing. As always, I thank you for your time. I thank you for stopping by. And much appreciation for your support. Click the notification bell for intriguing content. Thank you.